Grab your yoga mat, take an easy pose, because you're watching Yoga Intervention Quick Clips. Hey everybody, Kali Sampson, Alexander. Yoga Intervention, this is how I flow. Hey, have you ever heard of the psoas muscle? It's that weird spelling muscle that starts with a P that sounds like it starts with an S. The psoas muscle is a long and huge muscle that attaches to the spine and then it goes all the way down into your thighs. It's one of the major hip flexors. In fact, it is the supreme hip flexor muscle. Because of our lifestyle of sitting, of driving, it tends to get tight over time. So what we want to do today is play with a few poses that will help you get a little bit more mobility and flexibility in the psoas muscle. So standing at the top of your mat, you come into a forward fold. And from the forward fold, keep your right foot here. Slide your left leg way, way, way back. And then gently lower the left knee down. Now if the left knee is tender, you can roll up your mat and give a little bit more cushion to that left knee. So right away, I'm getting into the psoas muscle, the hip flexors on the left side. From here, start to line up the right knee with the right ankle. Draw your chest forward. And as you press the top of your back foot, the center of your right heel, you're giving a little bit more energy into that psoas muscle. So from here, bring the arms along the sides of your head. Let the palms face each other. And then press at your feet. And on your inhale, slowly upright your torso. And once you upright the torso, you're starting to get more into the top of where that psoas muscle attaches deep into the spine. Then you can reach the arms here, take a few breaths. And then from here, you're going to take the hands down, fingertips to the mat, maybe the palms to the mat that's available in your body. And then you're going to start to straighten out your right leg without locking your knees. Take a little bit of that pressure off the psoas muscle. And then re-bend the right knee. Bring the arms along the sides of your head. Once again, upright your torso. Do this three times. This is two. Take a few breaths in here. Then find that little lift of the frontal hip points, send the tailbone down, and find that big lift of the rib cage out of your waist. Take one more inhale. On your next exhale, take the hands back down to your mat, straighten out the right leg. And then on your next exhale, lower the sole of the right foot down, arms along the sides of the head, and then upright the torso again. You to take a few breaths. So really, imagine that you could actually take your breath and send it into the top of the left thigh. And then one more inhale here, take the hands to the mat, straighten out the right leg, and then you'll do the second side on your own, all right? So that is how you bring a little bit more mobility into the psoas muscle. I'm Kali Sampson Alexander, Yoga Intervention, and this is How I Flow.